Hi, I'm Guy Strauss. Um, today I would like to show you how I set up my XUAV clouds, my new build, um, with all the electronics. So I got uh, the Eagle Tree Vector as my uh, flight controller. I got a UHF uh, from Dragonlink, of course, transmitter and the camera uh, all together. How I, you know, connect everything. So you should go to the manuals and you know read everything. Uh, starting from of, of course the vector, it's a it's a big manual, but I find it very useful to see video of others, uh, you know how they set it up, you know to see it in my own eyes, how they connected it, uh, it make uh, much more visual, you know than just um, reading all these manuals. So I'm an FPV uh, pilot for the last I think six years. I got many platform. Uh, I do a lot of videos, self videos, I will do much more. So I would appreciate if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, showing me and let me have uh, some motivation, you know, to uh, have more and more uh, videos like that. So with no further ado, uh, let's start. So let me uh, just point the camera uh, to the uh, clouds. Okay, so let's start. Um, Starting from the back, um, this is the uh, Dragon Link. As you can see, here is the antenna. I'm gonna um, position it right here. Um, then I put all the wires now outside the model, so you can see uh, how I connect everything. So these wires are going towards the uh, um, vector. Here you see the GPS for the vector. So the vector itself, and we'll see all the wires. This is the PSU, current sensor. Um, and then here up front, uh, this is the video transmitter, which I'm going to position right here. And here you see um, the camera, just put it aside. And here what I got, this is something that um, I put in order to have uh, first of all a U-back to power all the servos. Um, here is the an LC filter, and this this piece um, I can't remember its name right now, but I will put the link, um, which should reduce uh, the the voltage from uh, 4S that I'm going to use, uh, 4S 500 5200 multistar that I'm going to use to. Uh, um, you know, uh, a current, a 12 volt current for that will go uh, both for the transmitter and the camera, and uh, it's uh, kind of stabilized the, the uh, current. Um, so, first of all, uh, let's start with this thing. So, I got a JST. This JST is actually was soldered uh, here before the PSU and the JST is connecting here to the LC filter and I got the U-back that will power uh, power the servo uh, the servos and here after the, the LC filter this is the the voltage that's going to change from 4S to, uh, to 3S to 12 volts and these two will go here uh, into the uh, um, camera and to power up the, the camera and uh, um, the video transmitter. You can use this PSU which will do the same thing. You got here 12 volt uh, also reduce the, the current and you got here the white one is the 5 volt so you you know on my mini talon I just use that but now I'm going to use uh, the LC filter uh, because um, I got some cross lines uh, on the image that I get uh, from the transmitter it's whether the transmitter or the camera so now I'm going to use this uh, LC filter to see if this reduces the noise that's coming through okay so here we got a vector so starting uh, with the, all these wires that connected to um, the Dragon Link Hope you can see that. Okay, so I'm using a PPM. 
So in order to use a PPM, uh, you need to have this wire uh, from uh, the um, vector. It had uh, more wires if you connected that to a PMW, but I just removed them. You know, it's very simple. You just have uh, to uh, take up uh, this little uh, um, white thing and you just pull out all the wires that it's much neater than to have so many wires for the PMW. So I connected um, uh, from uh, the vector to um, channel number 7. You can see here it says uh, PPM channel number 7. Now channel number 8 is uh, the RSSI. So the RSSI goes here. It says here it's very simple. It says RSSI. It's, it's very simple. One more thing which is interesting, it says uh, RSSI slash 5 volt backup which means that it takes the power that goes to the uh, receiver of the Dragon Link and we'll see how it goes there but it takes the power and uh, if for some reason uh, the PSU is failing and do not provide uh, the voltage uh, uh, to the vector itself then this is a backup so it's taking from uh, the servo rail taking the, the power and uh, this is a backup so the vector will have uh, all always uh, will be powered so it sends that it's going down for some reason because of the PSU your vector uh, will be uh, will have a, a backup power and this uh, third um, wire which is a single wire I uh, decided to connect it to channel number six goes to this UART and we'll see maybe in a different video this is how I kind of transfer the telemetry into my uh, Tyrannis um, so this is a connection that I have to do as well as configuring uh, through the GUI the Dragon Link and uh, also do something uh, on the Dragon Link transmitter uh, a wire to be uh, hooked to, or to be connected to the Tyrannis but again this is on a different video uh, we can have it now, so if I want to connect these two, I just, you know, I like to, to use the JSTs. I just uh, connect it here and here. So we have power now, um, 12 volt power, clean, uh, hopefully, by this LC filter, clean power goes to, uh, to the camera and the transmitter. Now, uh, what else I have to connect here? Everything is uh, right here. So you got the rudder and also the elevator. These are these two wires, which goes here underneath and goes over there to this V-tail. One would be a rudder and the other one would be an elevator. If you see that uh, it's going the opposite way while after you did the wizard of the vector, just switch these two and you will get uh, the right movement you don't have to reverse anything uh, just switch these two um, what else so what I got here um, the two uh, ESCs because I got here two uh, motors for the clouds so I got here two ESCs they're going here you can see they come up from here a lot of wires again but Trust me, it got two of them. I just took out um, the red wires here and here and put some shrinks. So I took out uh, um, the voles and connected that to uh, a Y connector. The reason for doing that to uh, you know disconnect the, the um, red ones because I'm not going to power up the servo rail. Uh, with the ESCs, I decided to take a UBEC and to power it with a UBEC. So first of all, I'm going to connect it to the throttle. So it's it's connected now. And then I'm going to take um, another uh, Y connector, which is actually the ailerons. So it comes here, the ailerons, and I'm going to connect that 
to the other one. Yeah, it's very simple. Okay. So we're starting to have a nice mess here. Now I'm taking the U back and just connected to one of the auxiliaries that I got here. Like that. And this will power up um, the servo rail. And this also, of course, will power up uh, from the PPM um, the Dragon Link receiver, which is, is if you remember if I, uh, that I told you about the backup uh, to the vector, this is how it goes, this is how it powers um, for the uh, wire of the RSSI, um, it powers up um, the backup as well. So what else we got here? I got here uh, also, I hope that you can see it, but I got here uh, also this speed pitot sensor, pitot sensor, sensor sorry, uh, which is uh, having these tubes going along, uh, and this is the pitot tube. And so the GPS, is connected over here to this bus. You can see this wire that goes here. I have to put this inside and to make some order in the wires. So it goes up here, you can see that, to the left one, to, sorry, to the right, uh, right one, and from the left one, left bus, it goes inside uh, into the pitot tube. So I think this is it. Um, this is what I've done here and all the connections um, Let me just do a, a summary um, Here so we got here the the PPM again. I removed all the PMW wires and Then I got the rudder here connected to the VTL and afterwards I got the aileron which is connected to uh, the Y connector to both ailerons and then I got the elevator again to the VTL and the throttle uh, again if you're going to use a UBEC don't forget to remove to disconnect uh, the white wire and then the, the UBEC is connected and then here the RSSI which goes uh, to the Dragon Link um, and also serves as a backup uh, here we got the UR to um, Transfer the telemetry telemetry uh, to the Tyrannis. Uh, here we got the connection of the um, GPS, and this bus um, provides, as I, uh, as I said before, 12 volt, 12 volt, and 5 volt using the the PSU uh, current sensor um, that I'm not currently using, uh, but I decided to take this two inputs of the video transmitter and the camera that requires 12 volt and use the LC filter um, and this um, device to reduce uh, it to 12 volt. Um, this is uh, how I connected uh, the transmitter and the camera. It says everything is labeled, it's very nice. This is going uh, here and everything is connected and that's it guys. So I got another video about the vector and it's how we set it up. It's, it's a bit cleaner, not within uh, a model, but on the table. It shows you a picture. It might be also helpful. I will put a link, put a link in the description as well. So uh, that's it for today. Again, as I said before, I'm going to have more setup videos. I'm going to put here as well a uh, um, gimbal, a brushless gimbal, a mini 3D Pro. So I'm going to show you how it works as well. I'm going to have this telemetry uh, to the uh, um, to the Tyrannis and how it can show up on your smartphone device. So a lot to come up. So please um, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.